Hey, got a surprise for you. I've arranged for Dr. Clay to pick up Rafe here. Rafe's coming over? Mm-hmm. And Sam and Danny and Lucy. I have pancakes. I didn't make them. I ordered them from the Waffle Cottage. I thought we'd have a little farewell breakfast. Uh, it was really nice of you, Mom. Thanks. <sighs> Honey, I know this is difficult. For you, for everyone, I'm just trying to keep things positive. Okay, well, how can you do that? I mean, Danny starts chemo today, and Silas is taking Rafe back to New York. <sighs> There you go. Hey! Hi! Hi. Hi. Wait a minute, are those pancakes or am I hallucinating? Relax, I didn't make them. Thank God. <laughs> Turns out we were right. Last night was a goodbye. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> Thanks for arranging this. Oh, of course, I just wanted us to have some nice time before you go to the hospital. That's good, huh? You love it. Is that Silas? No, he's not coming for another hour. It's Lucy. We've got a while before that jerk shows up. You know, I can hear you. There's no jerks here. Just me and Uncle Silas, ready to take his nephew home. You can't just treat Rafe like he's some piece of luggage. He is a I'll human being. I'll feet. handle this, all right? We agreed that you would pick Rafe up in an hour and 20 minutes and 15 seconds. May I? Let's just say I'd like to get to the airport early. Well, guess what? Get to the airport in an hour and 20 minutes and 15 seconds. You're kicking me out. I helped Danny out, and now I got to stand on the curb? How is he, by the way? Still just a little under the weather? Well, we got the results back from the biopsy, and you were right. It's leukemia. Congratulations. You made a five-second diagnosis, and you were right. <laughs> Isn't he amazing? I mean, he's, he's amazing. You deserve a round of applause. Let's hear it, everybody, for Silas. He's great. How about maybe your next magic trick? You can conjure up some compassion. No, actually, I, th I think that might be a little bit too much to ask for, because you don't give a damn about Danny any more than you care about Rafe. I feel so bad for you, Rafe. Living with him. It's probably better than a group home. Probably. You know, Rafe is my nephew. I don't have to prove my concern for him to you. I had to prove it to the court. As for Danny, the truth and the early diagnosis, it's gonna save his life. Oh, don't tell me I missed all the festivities. Hi, handsome. I'm so sorry I'm late. I. And he is early. Did someone not explain to him that he is infringing on our grave time? Pretend I'm not here. You can say all the goodbyes you want. Just remember, we got a plane to catch. What's your angle? I just want to say thank you. Oh, you are welcome. From both of us. All right? Gonna miss you guys. You'd better get going, though. Yeah, I guess um, it's about that time. <laughs> you can um, call me, text me, Skype. I can be on a plane, whatever you want. Hey, Danny boy. Stay strong, all right? I know you can beat this thing. And you're only one year old, but you're already the toughest guy I've ever met. Um, I guess this is goodbye. Mm -hmm. i see you later. Bye, Danny. Bye. OK. Come on, man. I don't know what it said take all the time in the world to say your goodbyes. I, just, I didn't realize it was going to be like this. Can we hit the road while there's still a little daylight? OK, Ray, um, hey, why don't you take Molly outside and finish your chat? OK, I'd appreciate it, because I'd really like to have a word of my own with Dr. Clay. I know we kind of already said our goodbyes last night, but I couldn't let you leave without giving you something to take with you. What is this? I wrote another book. Seriously? Yeah, well, don't get too excited. It's just a first draft. No, I bet it's awesome. And I can't believe your mom isn't telling anyone who will listen. Uh, actually, 
She hasn't seen it yet. No one has. You'll be the first. <laughs> Main Squeeze by Molly Lansing Davis. It's a, it's a play on words. I don't know, maybe it's dumb. No, I like the title. And I can't wait to read it. Actually, I'll start on the plane. Anything so I don't have to talk to Silas. Good idea. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Look inside. To Rafe, who taught me to depend on the kindness of friends. I hope it's not too much. I wouldn't want to embarrass you. I'm not really often very wrong about people. No kidding. No, but I, I will admit I was wrong about your brother. Really? Yeah, he was a sick individual, that's for sure, but his illness was rooted in grief. He was so devastated by the death of his wife, he didn't know what to do with himself except take refuge in madness. So all those horrific, horrible, monstrous things he did, they were bad, but he did them as a human being, not as a vampire. Well, on that we can agree. You are the vampire. What do you think you're doing? You're taking... A boy, he, he, he's just a child away from the only family he has. You're ripping him out of a home. He never had a home before. A human being, a person, wouldn't do that. Only a creature without a soul. Are you finished? Hmm. Good. Ray, you ready? It's time to go. Hey. 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 Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I may have accidentally on, on purpose hacked into the hospital mainframe to to track Danny's treatment. I understand he's set to begin receiving chemotherapy today. Yeah, he is. You must marshal all of your considerable strength, young Daniel, and know how much we love you. Mm. He knows, right? Hey, look, if there's anything that I can do, I'd, I'd, I'd be happy to assist, whether it's sustenance or anything, or just a hand to hold. Thank you. We appreciate that. Why don't you go with Sam? I need to find Monica. I told her I'd keep her in the loop. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome, by the way. For what? For my kind and generous offer to join me. Oh, yes. Where are my manners? You're absolutely right. Thank you so much for this romantic interlude. The smell of disinfectant really gets my juices flowing. Now, where on earth is your doctor? Wait a minute. I don't want my whole life discussed in front of everybody. Just keep it down. You're a cool kid. You are amazing and soulful and sweet and smart. Okay, this is really nice, but I can't breathe. <laughs> See ya. I'm determined to get Sam and Danny through this. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I will come up with something. Well, Danny is a quarter main, so if there's anything he needs. Same for me, Natasha, whatever you need. Thank you. I'll let you know if there's anything I can think of. In the meantime, what brings you two to the hospital? Well, uh, this is kind of a follow-up with uh, Lulu's... Luke's here for me. Uh, actually, I'm getting some test results today, and... I asked him if he would accompany me. Yeah. You know me. Calming influence, always. I just don't understand. Rafe doesn't mean anything to Silas. Why did he take him away? <laughs> I got nothing. I don't know what to tell you, kid. I guess it's just sometimes the good guys just don't win. I should get that. For a doctor? Rafe, what are you doing here? Did you escape? I didn't have to. Clay just dropped me off. He changed his mind. Don't you have a plane to catch? Not anymore. 